This is an acetate drawing that was traced from the original print in the prints and drawings department. This is the key to the whole print. It's the guide for color and it's the guide for uh, stencil cutting. This is the color palette which is now laying dormant in cups. They are gouaches, color matched or as close as possible to the original print. What you're looking at here is a line drawing from the original print. Here I've highlighted uh, one portion of what is going to be the key print or stencil, which is the black. Wherever you see a striated area that is not highlighted, that's because it's touching one of the areas that is highlighted. That striated area which is not highlighted is another black stencil. When the two black stencils are printed together, they create the overall effect of all of the black areas in the print. This will all be clearly understood when I print these. This is what you call cut by number or cut by color. I made my job easy. What I'm doing is I'm doing all of the steps that everyone in the crew would have done, except the original artwork, you know, the original conception of the image. This thing is gonna be a, a bear to print. You want to help me? Sure. Kind of a warm, deep gray. So many little parts to paint. If you take each set of these and you shoot them with a still camera, in the beginning sets you have, you know, There'll be like one piece of paper with pigment and then three pieces of paper with nothing on that. And uh, you go from two colors, four, six, eight, and so on. There's approximately 40 colors here. That shows the progression. There were artists who designed the original artwork. Then there were uh, stencil cutters. All they did was cut stencils. They didn't print. And then there's the printer. So there are three different groups of people apparently involved in producing these. They probably had much broader brushes and they might have had stencil brushes. I tried a stencil brush but it was too rough and it was creating a lot of bleeding underneath the stencil. So I gave that up and instead I'm using regular small flat brushes. And that, I have a lot of control this way. The original prints have a 
have a lot more bleeding and they're coarser, but they're also much more painterly because there's a lot more transparency in the pigment. So here I'm just gonna cut all around these larger areas that I'm going to paint with a bigger brush. Do a little bit more touching up at the very end. So we'll leave this be. dramatic part of this print is printing the second black that ties everything together. The second black gets rid of all the white in the first black. I'm going to print over these with the second black. This is the second black stencil which covers over uh, any white areas from the first black stencil and adds multiple brush stroke like effects such as the writing on the book has multiple strokes so that had to be done on multiple black uh, stencils. So most of these strokes, most of this stencil, like all these little black lines are lines that intersect other lines That's why they have to be done on a second stencil. This second stencil covers up a lot of what's going on in the first stencil. Lay it out for you. Boom. It all speaks for itself. That's a decent print. 